Okay, the setup is finally complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in behind me and show you guys my setup for 2020. Uh, obviously some things will change uh, a little bit as we go on through the year. I definitely have some bigger plans, um, maybe even an entirely different kind of office. We don't know yet, but definitely some things uh, behind me will change. But for now, I'm gonna bring you in and we're gonna take a look around my current setup and show you guys what I put together all throughout uh, Christmas last year, pretty much. Let's start off this setup by actually uh, telling you guys what's lighting this whole setup because I really, really like this new lights that I got. These are the Viltrox uh, Studio LED uh, lights. Um, I got the pack that comes with two of them. You can actually buy the panels by themselves, singular. Uh, the panels come with the controls on the back of the panel, one for battery. You can actually put a battery in there, but you don't have to plug it into the wall if you don't want to. Uh, you can control the actual brightness of the light by turning a dial from 0 to 100%. And you can also control the color temperature uh, of the light. Right now, these guys are set to 4400K. Uh, and I um, I kind of like that, that color temperature, um, but I can go to 5600K, I believe. I think it's 5600K if I wanted to for even more white. Um, I'll play around with that. Um, a little later, but just uh, definitely not right now. And coming down to the actual setup itself, uh, we have the PC. I've said a whole lot about it. Got several videos on it. You can check out the playlist for building this setup up at the top in the cards below or up at the top <laughs> in the cards. And then, of course, links for everything you're going to see is down in the description box below. Um, but just to wrap it up, there's a Ryzen 3700X 1660 Super setup um which is it which is housed in the case labs sm8 um case i believe it's the sm8 case um of course the case Labs being a defunct company now the company is no longer around you can't actually buy this case anymore so uh, i've had the case for a very long time i've kind of had thoughts of changing it but you know i spent 500 dollars on just the case empty so i kind of feel bad moving over to another case <laughs> right now Sitting right next to it, right in between my uh, monitor and the PC, this is actually my backup solution. Not a great solution, but it is my backup solution. It's the two WD books. So the big one here is the eight, ter eight terabyte. The one up top that's sitting on top of it is the four terabyte. And that pretty much makes up my total uh, backup solution. Like I said, it's not great, but that's what I got. Um, Coming down to the actual setup here, I see my whole um, internet world now through the, the, um, through the Dell S3219D. Um, I said a lot about this monitor as well. Check the cards up above for the video review of this monitor. And of course, like I said, the link in the description. And it is sitting on top, both of it, I have this monitor over here, I will get to that one. Uh, everything is sitting on top, the Langria Bamboo Wood Monitor Stand. Uh, also called a monitor riser. It raises up the monitor about four inches uh, and it's just enough to be able to put cables. You see my wallets there. All kind of little things can be underneath these sections. Um, the monitor stand does bend in and out. So if you are, uh, had a corner desk, you can actually set it into the corner and bend the sides um, out uh, so that it can be... Uh, sit definitely right all the way into the corner and still be able to hold up your monitors. It'll look pretty clean actually as well. And of course down here we have some simple stuff. So um, this, moving real close, is my keyboard. Uh, it's a Vitsing keyboard, pretty cheap keyboard by a company that of course you, is not well known at all, but that's a pretty good keyboard. I like it. Uh, I've been using it for quite a while now. Uh, the first one I got was not good. <laughs> um, and they sent me a replacement and the replacement has been doing just fine. So I, I really like that. Right next to it is the ASIO uh, mouse. I think it's called, what is this called? The Levitron uh, mouse. Um, it, it's a very, very basic gaming mouse has your DPS controls up top, 
uh, your forward and backward buttons, which you can also uh, map to different triggers if you wanted to. Bit of a grip here on the side. And you know, it's, it's a nice mouse, it's a small mouse. I kind of prefer a bigger mouse, um, but this one does me just fine. I don't feel like buying another mouse right now. So that's all there is to that. Here at the bottom of my setup here, this is the end, the Anchor USB 3 hub. Pretty important for my setup because going into this hub is the Elgato Camlink and my mic. So my whole streaming setup is being piped through this Anchor USB 3.0 hub. That way I can have things like this going on over here where um, I have the Adobe Audition recording all the audio as I'm doing the video right now. I couldn't do things like this before. Um, and now thanks to this new setup, I have my mic right here, the Zoom H1. I've been having it for years. Now I can have it sitting in this mic arm, cheap $10 mic arm. And I have my lavalier mic plugged into it. Uh, from the side here, my um, Audio-Technica, uh, the very old school lavalier mic that everybody knows. Um, so I have it piped into the Zoom H1 and now I'm recording my audio over here. And, it's, and it works so well. I really love this new way of doing the audio. It's new for me. It's very common to see around YouTube for quite a while now, but it's new for me. So I, I really like that. Um, coming over here, I have the uh, Samsung. These uh, Samsung uh, headphones here, and it's uh, I know it's a little weird to see them every time I put these on. Uh, a lot of um, I'm not gonna say every time, but many times that I put these on camera, and I tell people that I'm using still using these headphones even after reviewing them years ago. A lot of people tell me that no, you, you're definitely not using these anymore. You have to be using something newer. I'm not. I'm, I'm using these guys and i've been using these as my primary headphones on my setup ever since i reviewed it it's been my primary headphones on my setup that's why it's all tore up over here you know definitely it could use a replacement but they still work fine for me and i monitor all the audio from my stream and i use them as my primary headphones on my setup so there you go they work just fine um <laughs> they're cheap as all balls i think you can uh get this for 20 bucks now or something like that whatever you can check the description box for all that um, over here is my tried and true, and this is actually is not in the office all the time. It's usually downstairs uh, with my wife. Uh, she This is uh, pretty much her camera now. This is the Nikon D3100. This used to be my primary camera for this channel a long time ago, um, but it's still in use. It's being used every single day. She uses it all the time for her videos over on Misha's Corner. You know, what's being seen right over there, that Misha's Corner sign. Uh, a little fun thing I got um, just for her, and it ended up sitting in my office, even though I got it for her. Uh, so that's pretty much how that went. <laughs> but yeah, I, I got um, that for her. But over at Misha's Corner, the D3100 is still being used. Um, and of course, she uses her phone a lot for a lot of things now. I have it in here now because I pull footage off of it for her, um, for her videos. But that's um, <laughs> not necessarily part of my setup, but it's there. So I saw that, I decided I'd talk about it. Over here, this guy right here is a very, a very, very strong and awesome camera mount for your desk. It's the ArcScan uh, desktop camera mount. And it has this, um, let me move in a little bit closer so you can see. It has this um, little dial right here where you can screw in your cameras and then you have controls uh, here to move this pretty much 360 degrees wherever you want to get it just right. Then you have another joint uh, right down around the corner here. There we go. And this allows you to be able to move it backwards and forwards and have all that control as it's now clamped onto my desk. And it works so, so well. I really, really love this um, desktop camera mount. And between that camera mount and these, uh, this mic arm here, that is pretty much my streaming setup. Of course, the Elgato hangs behind the desk, the Elgato Camlink 4K, and that makes up my streaming setup that I use all the time 
to stream my games that I play on this screen, where I got my uh, Lemillion, uh, um My Hero Academia wallpaper. <laughs> um, and I, I stream it, I play in 1440p, I pipe it out um, through OBS and 1080p. And that is pretty much my setup. And I know someone might ask, uh, not many people do. I think, I think everyone pretty much got the message of what it is. So let me back up a bit. Uh, the whole setup is sitting on an IKEA tabletop with the uh, the cabinet drawers here. And yes, you can see there's no cable management really done on this setup at all. Um, and that's just how it is right now. But that is pretty much my setup. And that is the video. I'd like to thank you guys for once again checking out this video and checking out my setup for 2020, my little mini setup tour. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, don't forget, links for everything is down in the description box below. Uh, video reviews for several things I showed um, in this setup is up in the cards. So don't forget to check all of that out. And it is Sunday uh, for this particular video. Most likely there is a stream that's going to be going on today as well. I do stream on Sundays, Saturdays, Sundays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, so that is usually my, my streams. They usually happen in the evening, but keep an eye out on my Twitter and social media networks to see when I am streaming or going live. All right. Uh, till the next video, I'll see you guys. You have a good one. Bye.